What is going on, guys? It is 1.56 in the morning. Another Late Night Rip with Pat in Oregon. The fourth and final box of Bowman Draft Light. Um, I thought I was going to maybe be able to keep this and just not open it and just keep it sealed for a while. But yeah, no, that ain't happening. So we're going to go ahead and rip into this. We are... If you've watched the first three videos, you've seen that we've gotten pretty good hits with the Guaranteed Ray Waves, the 10 refractors per box, the one baby blue per box. You get one color paper, one color chrome. It's been really good. And again, I'm not looking for autos. I'm looking for parallels. And we're going to rip this last box. We're going to bring in Henry Davis, both the 250 paper and the Ray Wave, and to steal a steal what the uh, striker breaks does we're gonna spread some goodness on this last box make sure that we get uh let's get something good and the four box train with um let's get let's get a uh you know let's get an auto why not there's autos in these they're long shots but maybe just maybe there's one in here I honestly am just looking for a Mayer Chrome first. I don't have one of him yet. I've already opened up three boxes of this. So I'm probably still going to buy a couple packs um, at the LCS. Might do that tomorrow, actually. Just because, they, you know, you still want a chance at getting an auto, but I don't want to buy a whole box. But my luck. You'll see a video of me opening up another bo a jumbo box next week. All right, last time. This has been a good, a fun series. I know it's not for everybody, but, you know, if you like baseball, you like prospects, I'll be honest, like, um, the other folks that rip them and draft on YouTube, I mean, I literally just watch them, have it running in the background. They tend to be a little longer rips, but I don't mind it. Oh, geez, right out of the bat, we're going with the baby blue paper. So, I would say normally we would skip the paper, but we won't do that this time. We will come back to that at the end. But we will skip all the regular paper because you've already seen that, and we don't need to keep going through it. There we go. Okay, so we got Blaze Jordan. Nice. And there's a Jordan Lawler chrome first. I hadn't had him yet either. And we got our first Ray Wave in here already. So this first box is coming out. Our first pack is coming out swinging. So Lawler. And then we got our first Ray Wave. They're always upside down. So we got no first. But it's a Blaze Jordan. Okay. I can do that. Got a Blaze Jordan, get another Blaze Jordan. So I'm down with that. That is technically Blaze Jordan's first ray wave. Oh, no, no, he had one in maybe. He had one in Chrome. Oh, but there we go. Man, okay. Jordan Lawler on the refractor, and we still have a paper parallel in here. All right. That is... That's an awesome pack of light. I mean, that's almost as good as you can ask for, again, without the guaranteed autos. Lawler Chrome, Lawler Refractor um, first. We got the Blaze Jordan on the Ray Wave, and we still got something coming on the paper. I'm happy with that. That's a good start. See, that, that mojo at the beginning helped. So let's see what we got back here. Not a first. Seattle. Ah, I don't know who this dude is. Marte, 28. Oh, it's at a four ninety nine. Okay. All right. Well, not the not the. I figured it'd at least be a J rod, but uh, no luck there. Okay, but we got a parallel. Is what matters. So if you're a Seattle fan, you might see this on my on my eBay page. All right. Really hoping to get an auto. It'd be a really nice way of ending this four box series. Get the rare auto out of this. That would be pretty dope. So, 
Luis Rodriguez. Oh, this dude. I've been watching. Look at this dude's hair. Ricky Tiedemann. You got like a raccoon growing out of your hat, bro. That just doesn't look like you don't imagine that face with that hair. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that, that, I guess if you're going to get noticed, get noticed for something. Why not? It'd be that. All right. Mojica. Wow. And then we're already right out of the gate with our, with our, uh, with our, uh, Chrome parallel. Wow. Okay. Maybe it's a hot box. I don't know. Um, Matos Giants PC refractor for me. And then let's come back. What do we got here? Oh, sh did we get, did we get the auto? Did we get an auto? No. Weird. We got a speckle. Got a speckle parallel. I didn't, I'm there. I hadn't seen anybody pull these. And it's not numbered? Weird. Okay. Normally these were numbered to like 70 something. I've had a, I had one last year. Um, I thought they were really, really low number. But no number on this. I'm not seeing it. I'm not missing anything here, right? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, a parallel. Not a first. But an interesting parallel. I wasn't expecting that out of this box. So, let's get back to the regularly scheduled programming. There we go. Put those away. Keep the refractor there. So okay, two for two. Let's see if uh, we just burn through the two parallels for this box already, and they're just that happened to be the top packs. I wasn't paying attention as I was opening all my boxes to see like, is it the top pack of both stacks that has a parallel? Hopefully not. That make it really too easy to steal one out of a out of a hobby shop. Michael Harris, Vargas. We have one of the Genesis cards, Gavin Williams. Now we have our second Ray Wave, the first. No. Oh, well, Pomerez for the Giants. I'll take that. Pomerez is another one of the Giants' top prospects. So I'm happy with that for the PC. Mason Miller, first refractor. So, not bad. There's that kid, Brady House. I know we weren't going to talk about paper, but I think that's the first one hit I've seen. 11th round. Born in June of 03. Holy smokes. He's not even 19 yet. Oh, man, I feel old. Okay. All right. Mason Miller goes down there with the other refractors. So I wonder if I've already got the two parallels, does that mean there is no hope of an auto in here? Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're getting more than, we're getting more than, uh, than the advertised parallels out of this. So let's see what we got there. It looked like a yellow or a gold, but paper. Um, Selvage is another Joby. First, here is the baby blue refractor of the guy with the longest name in baseball. Cristian Edcanacion Strand. Doesn't roll off the tongue quite like Edcanacion. I'm really curious about this other paper. That's really weird. I haven't pulled two paper parallels out of any anything. That's another insert Genesis, Maddox Bruns, Victor Mesa Jr., Marlins. And what do we have back here? Okay, so 
we have a first. Oh, and it's a Giants first. This is going to be a win for me no matter what. And is this Silva? It is Silva. And what number are you, Silva? 50. 50. Gold? Gold, yeah, right? Gold on the, uh, yeah, gold is to 50 on Bowman paper. Okay, we are three for three, right? Yeah, we're three for three on the... No, we're not. Okay. Three out of the four we've opened so far have had a parallel in it. So, uh, I don't know. There might be something going on with this box. Let's see if we get something else in here. I had not gotten two paper parallels in the other three. And it looks like in this case, nothing here. Madison first. Manzardo first. Bradley Green. Here we got our baby blue. Oh, please be. Oh, close. Okay. Thought we maybe got a Henry Davis refractor first to go with the other ones we've already gotten. All right. Okay, nothing in here. There's uh, Marte. Jordan v Viars, Vars, first. Oh, that's a nasty scratch on there. I can't really see it on the camera, but it's there it is. Look at that, corner to corner. Yeah, all right. Oh, I missed the slow roll. Here we go, Sal Frelick. Sal Frelick. Frelick for the Brewers, and we got a refractor behind him. Yankee first of Brock Selvage, and then Sal, where were you drafted? Oh, 15th overall. Okay. Take that. Another top, another first, I mean, any really first or second rounder you'd be happy with getting one of these cards out of. And uh, there's a lot of Brewers prospects, and in this set, I noticed. Brock Selvage on the refractor first. Okay, last four packs. Maybe we can still get something. An auto, who knows, long shot. That looks like, that's just the insert, okay. Mason Black for the Giants. Asa Lacey. Yep, that's Meyer and McDonough for the Franchise Futures. Still don't have a Meyer Chrome. And here we are with another Ray Wave, not a first, of Ed Howard. Who was drafted 16th overall last year. Jeremy De La Rosa on the refractor. All right. That one feels like it has the Invicta in it. Let's save that one for last. Then we get an Invicta parallel. We got one of those in the first box. Actually, that first box had a lot more parallels. It actually had two Invicta cards in it, so maybe that was the hot box in this. This order of four. I still need a Meyer first chrome, so I need that to bail me out here. Amador Perez. Ryan Cusick, draft night insert. And we got uh, Henry Davis on the franchise futures. And then we have one more refractor. First of Cody Morissette.
Woody Morris said, where were you drafted from? 52nd overall, born in 2000. All right, number 20 year old. Well, it's been fun ripping this. Again, I know it's not for everybody, but uh, for those that enjoy the prospecting and getting to know about these players when they first start off their MLB careers, it's um, a professional baseball career, I should say. It's pretty cool. So I do enjoy it. I like taking my time with it. So, um, And uh, we will definitely be switching gears into more uh, football uh, <clears throat> in the next couple videos. And then once Top Series 1 comes out, I'll be going right back to baseball because that is ultimately my favorite sport to collect. Um, and we're doing some Wander Mania searching um, here in the next uh, next month. Yeah, it, can, it comes out in February. Okay, I think this is our final Ray Wave. Let's go out with a first, if we can. We can. We can go out with a first. Is it going to be Cody Morrison again? No, Joe Mack. Okay, nice. So, Joe Mack was drafted 31st overall, but first rounder to the Marlins. Catcher. All right, and there's a nice Asa Lacey on the refractor. All right, last pack magic. So we did end up getting a couple extra parallels. The Invicta should be in here. Maybe we'll get an Invicta parallel ended on that high note. <clears throat> there's the Invicta. Oh, wow. See, we did get another parallel. Okay, we got another purple. So this was definitely a, a hotter box than the other ones. So let's come back to that one. We'll end on that. And then we've got Morales on the first. Our Invicta is going to be Spencer Torkelson. Not a bad one to get. Maybe he'll make a splash in the big leagues this year. So Torkelson on the Invicta, and then the baby blue refractor is in here also. Yeah, that's the baby blue. Is that a second baby blue? It's the first. Tampa Bay. Kyle Manzardo. Kyle Manzardo. 63rd overall, first baseman for the Rays. Nice color match on the baby blue refractor. So, I mean, I've been, I've been, I underestimated, I totally forgot. I was so focused on the five ray waves. I didn't even think about the fact that there's a refractor in every pack. Because you don't get that with every other, um, you know, again, get it for 90 bucks. And just a, just a chance to hit one of those is is pretty darn good, so. Again, high value, good parallel hunting. Chase Petty on the Bowman Draft Night insert. Our last refractor of the run is going to be Tyler Soderstrom. And then let's see what our last parallel. And we're going to end on the first, so I'm happy no matter what. Is it going to be the same dude we're looking at right now? No, because Perez is on the first. Okay. Who could that be? It's a brewer. Alex Benellis. Benellis. That's like a really old dude. This is going to be out of 250. 250. And he is 86 overall, third round pick, born in 2000. That guy looks like he's been living in the woods, chopping wood for like. 10 years. Looks a lot older than 20. Gosh. I don't even look that old. But hey, it's a parallel. It's a first. That's all that matters. And he's a position player. So even better. And like I said, on the Brewers, they got a lot of... This would probably be a pretty good team to get in a break. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of players on here. Okay. So, let's wrap it up for the fourth and final box of Hobby Light. 
Again, pretty decent. Oops. Um, the Torkelson Invicta. The five Ray Waves. Let's see, I think we got more first than non first. We got the Joe Mac first, Ed Howard, South Relic. Okay, so I ended up with only two of them being first. But I think overall I have to go back. Maybe I'll do a video on the entire four box recap. But I think we got more first than not. And then even in the ones we didn't, Blaze Jordan is a great one to get. Um, you know, Zach Veen was another one I got. So um, the other box. So decent on the parallels for the Ray Waves. Plenty of first, even though I still... I think I managed to go four boxes and didn't somehow get a Meyer first chrome. That's weird. So hopefully I missed one. Um, we got our inserts here. Henry Davis. We got Meyer on that. And then Genesis inserts. And then last on the highlights. So we ended up getting a, a, a juicier box than box number three. So we only got one chrome. Um, and one uh, paper parallel of that. But we ended up with a purple first Vanellis, a nice first baby blue refractor of Manzardo. Out of 50, Eric Silva first for the Giants. It's a PC hit for me. I'll take that. Oh, look, we ended up with two baby blues. Check that out. So we ended up getting... A bonus blue parallel. Another first. These are all first. Then the JJ Blade on the Speckle, which was not a first. And then Marte in the same box, not a first. That's the four ninety nine. And then this is Jordan Lawler. I just yeah, that's just regular refractor. I just top uh, top loaded him. So we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six parallels beyond what you were expecting and I guess take away one baby blue because you expect to get one of those so really um three paper parallels when you're only usually getting one and then I got the chrome parallel sorry the light's kind of a, in the way there but yeah I mean not going to complain about that that's what I wanted this for was parallels and I got parallels so no complaining Anyhow, guys, that's going to be the end of the run of light boxes. Um, if I do get any more Bowman draft, it's going to be, you know, some loose packs. I'll probably just open off off camera or, you know, maybe I'll get a jumbo box just for the sake to say I went autograph hunting and maybe got something. But hope you guys enjoyed it. It's always fun going down the Bowman draft um, road and uh, seeing where these guys may end up. So let me know again if you guys enjoyed this or want to see more of this or you don't want to see any of it because you hate looking at prospects, maybe. I don't know. But either way, let me know what you guys think. What are you looking for? Um, baseball seasons are coming up, hopefully, once they figure out this lockout thing. And um, we'll be ready to go in, for opening day. And either way, the cards are going to come out even if they don't play. But uh, we'll be ramping up the baseball here in a couple of weeks. Um, but anyways, give the, um, give the channel a sub if you haven't, uh, been with us before and always appreciate a like on the video and check out all the other videos. We've got plenty of baseball, basketball, football, uh, even some Pokemon on the channel that, uh, we, uh, run from time to time. So appreciate all your guys' support. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.